Sup guys, well, I decided to do an upgrade to my computer here, decided to go with the Skylake. Uh, the reason for that is because my 2500K SATA uh, controller died, at least that's what I'm pretty sure happened. It didn't see any of my, you know, it didn't see my drive, it didn't see either the SSD or the hard drive. But everything else worked fine. I literally took the GPU, the power supply, like everything, and used it in another computer, and everything else was fine. The only thing I couldn't try was a CPU, but I could get into BIOS, and the BIOS at least saw that, so I didn't think that was a problem either. But everything else is pretty much the same. We've got a Corsair RM1000 Gold certified power supply down there. We've got a Sapphire 295X2 with uh, two. Uh, what were they? Corsair SP performance fans or something like that. But that's in a push pull, and that thing keeps that thing pretty cool. Gives it a pretty okay overclock, but those uh, 29X core or 290X cores don't really overclock very good. At least mine don't, and other people seem to be able to do pretty good. I can't even get like uh, 1.1 gigahertz on them. I have to settle for like 1080 or something like that. But right now it's just stock. I'm installing updates and whatnot. And then for a CPU cooler, we got uh, Corsair H100i. I just have the stock fans because I don't care. They work. I pretty much leave them on quiet mode all the time anyway. So they're not loud that way. They're just loud when you use them in balanced or performance mode with the Corsair Link software. Oh yeah, I guess I should mention the CPU is a 6600K Core i5. The motherboard is an MSI, oh, what is it? Oh, I can't remember what the motherboard is off the top of my head, but it's a, it's a crate edition of some sort. But I'll just post the specs in the description. I honestly can't remember the name of the motherboard right off the top of my head. But I like it. I like the, the uh, white and black. Oh, and then RAM. RAM is uh, DDR4, uh, 2133 megahertz. Everything seems to work good so far, at least as far as general browsing and whatnot. In this case is a case I used to take to uh, my little LAN parties and whatnot. So it's got some scratches and whatnot. There's some more scratches under there, but I could probably just take a Sharpie. And nobody would probably ever notice, really, unless I got really close to it. Uh, for fans, I've got two General, uh, General Typhoon AP-15s in the front, and then there's one more down there. Uh, they keep everything absolutely cool. A lot of people would say, why don't you just put them on there? Laziness. <laughs> just pure laziness. That's really the only reason. And then, for a keyboard, we got a K70. Not one of the fancy ones that changes colors, just has red and it's got red keys inside too. So red LEDs and red uh, tactile keys. I can't remember what that. I think they're called cherry reds or something like that. Uh, and then for a monitor we have a X-Star. I think it's a, a DP, what does it say up there? DP2710 LED. It's pretty much a Samsung PLS or a Sony PLS. I can't really remember, but it's really, really nice. 1440p, really great. And then we've got a uh, 500 watt uh, receiver over there, and I've got a, an optical cord going over to the audio. And the audio on this motherboard is absolutely excellent so far. I listen to some songs, and there's a noticeable difference coming from a 2500K's onboard sound, whatever the hell it even was. I don't even know. And then under here, we have a 10 inch 250 watt powered sub. From Sony as well. Oh, and then my mouse. Mouse is a uh, G9X. Uh, I just have it to, you know, with the red on there just to match everything else. Oh, and then the speakers are behind the uh, speakers are behind the monitor. They're just little bookshelf speakers or whatever, but they sound really good for stereo. I would do surround sound, but. Whatever. Now let's just see here. Those are idle temps. Well, not completely idle. It's installing some updates in the background, but 
it's not too bad. And it's just running stock for now. Everything is stock. And then CPU Z. Sky Lake. Ah, there we go. That's the motherboard right there. Z170A. Great. No wonder I couldn't remember that. I'm so used to saying P67, P67, or 990FX. Those were the two motherboards I had for the longest time. Oh yeah, memory. There's the memory. DDR4, 16 gigs. But, alright, that's that. And then last thing. And that's just stock for now. Very, very... Oh, and now at least I have PCI Express 3.0, so I'll get to see if that was a bottleneck, or if it wasn't. Because I could never get a real answer. Some people said, you know, other people would say, yeah, for sure it does, no matter what. But, I don't know. It still destroyed games. Everything I got on here was 60 frames per second, like, completely maxed out. And that's with an old 2500K. Mind you, it was overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz, but that's not even... It's pretty good, but it's not great. Lots of people are getting 5 gigahertz plus. But anyway, it's been like 7 minutes or whatever, so that's about long enough for this update video. I'll do some benchmarks and whatnot later. Right now I'm just going to finish installing these window updates. And then I can get Windows 10 installed. So, next video I'll do benchmarks and games and whatnot. So, till then, peace out guys.